Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies, and today I want to talk about clout archery. In particular, Archery Australia dropping it from the national competition level. So, I'm going to start off with the national body. So, the national body in its constitution has been set up to promote and foster archery in Australia. So, that's its function. Now, part of that might be the elite Olympic archers or world archers, but it's to foster the growth of archery. So to me, that says to build a base. It's to get more people shooting recreationally, to get, build the clubs, to just get more people into the sport of archery. That's what it says to me. Now, I think that's pretty simple and it probably makes sense to you what that means, right? So, I'm going to go back to my father. So, when Dad set up an archery range called Archery Park, he had a whole bunch of shoots, like 3D shoots, novelty shoots, knockdown shoots, where you'd have to shoot rabbits in a dam. And, you know, in a one-minute time, time period, you have to shoot as many rabbits as you could. It was all about getting people into the sport to have fun. And to me, that's the basis of archery. And this is why I have a shop. Because I like getting people into the sport. I think it's a cool sport. I think it's good for people. It's good for, you can do it on your own. You can do it all ages. It's a family sport. I think it's a good sport. I think it's a good sport. And I enjoy getting people into the sport. Now, when Archery Australia goes, we're dropping clout from the national competition level. I ask myself, why would you make that choice? Like, why does it does that promote the growth of archery? Now, the particular people involved, and I'm not talking for them, I'm going to guess are going to say, well, clout's not a real form of archery. What's a real form of archery is what's at the World Championships, which is match play, where we shoot one for one against each other. And I'm saying, well, that's fine, right? That's, that's your thing. But the purpose of archery is... The purpose of the governing body is to promote archery. It's not to, to send people to the world championships. Well, it is to send people to world championships, but it's specifically not a number one criteria. The number one criteria is to promote archery in general. Now, just on that thing, I was like, well, how many people do clout archery compared to target archery, compared to indoor archery, compared to field archery? And you're probably going to think, well, clout archery is, you know, pretty minor because many clubs can't do it. So what I did is I added up how many people at the state championship shot clout. This year or any other year, it's about 50 odd in our state shoot clout at the state level at a, nat at a state championship. And then I think, well, how many people shoot field in the state championship? It's a little bit less. How many people shoot target at the state championship? It's a little bit less. So you're going to say, well, actually, wait, is there more people shooting clown at the state level? Well, in some cases, yes. The answer is because there's a bunch of people who shoot clown archery who do not shoot competitive level, the other types of archery. Now, the reason for that will be a lot of them will shoot traditional archery, so longbow, and they like the whole lobbing arrows at a distance and it's less competitive so there'll be a lot more people who shoot it for fun than competitive archery it's just it's a fun thing they do and it's their niche now people will say well clout's not real it, you know a good archer's not a clout archer well okay i'm going to take that argument but I'm going to put to you the argument that probably the best target shooter in compound in Australia is probably also the best clout shooter in Australia. Mate. He's definitely up there with the best of both target and clout. So you're going to say, how about recurve archery, Stephen? In the Olympic program today, they don't allow the top recurve archers to shoot clout. It's probably true. However, I'm going to point to you that our best, one of our best recurve archers in Australia is also one of our best cloud archers in Australia. Our former Olympic um, recurve champion in Australia, the former best recurve 
um, champion of champion men's recurve archer in Australia back in the 1980s was Chris Black. He still holds the Austra the state. I don't know about the Australian. He still holds the state clout record today. So it stood for about 30 years. So I'm going to say, look, clout is is a very specialised event. You have specialised scopes for it. You have specialised arrows for it. You shoot lighter poundage bows. And it's quite possible that the person who wins clout is not the best archer. He's the best archer at clout, but not the best archer in target. So in my former club, um, I think um, a person by the name of Peter Woodhull um, won the Australian clout championship in men's compound, I think for probably three or four, maybe five years in a row. Now, he wasn't one of the best target shooters in Australia, um, but he was certainly one of the best clown archers in Australia. And the reason was, and one of the reasons was, he had a really good setup for it. His bow was perfect, his arrows were perfect, and that's what he liked doing. It was like, it's not the pressure of target archery, and it was just like everything was set up. In fact, in my club, we did a lot of cloud archery. And part of that was because I lost I lost the Nationals as a junior in clout. So I'm like, I'm not having this happen to archers in my club and archers who I coach. So I'm going to teach everyone how to shoot it really, really well. And at the state level, when I was the state coach, my junior team did extremely well in clout compared to the other states. I think pretty much we cleared cleared the um, tables with clout. I mean, there would have been some other states who got medals. I'm not saying we got all the medals. But as far, as far as the proportion, I think most of my kids got medals at a national championship level because we do clout every month. So when Australia go, when Australia, Archery Australia goes, we're going to kick clout out. I'm going to say, well, actually, what you've done is you've just suddenly got rid of a whole bunch of people who actually like clout. Now, that gets me to the point. This weekend is the Clout Championships in Great, Great Britain. And you say, well, just on the weekend, Great Britain is just doing Clout. So not Target, not Indoor, it's just Clout. And how many people are going to shoot that, Stephen? Well, I happen to look at the program. There are five pages of names. And I was like, well, how many people are there to a page? And I started counting, but there's too many people. So I was like... There's a lot of people. There was, I think, 11 or 12 clouts um, for Great Britain. So there's a whole bunch. And I sell a whole bunch of mirrors to Great Britain. I also sell them to America and all that. So I, spe I sell a lot of specialised clout equipment to England, America, and around the world because it's all custom-made stuff. So I'm going to say that it's really unfortunate for me when five people at board level, I think it's five people at board level, decide to eliminate a type of archery. Because what you've done is you've suddenly reduced its status and you've, you've, you've gone away from the basis of what the association was set up to do. The association was to grow and foster the sport of archery. And by your decision, you have not grown the sport of archery. You have not got more people to, to participate. You have not got more people to attend a game. Now, you could say, well, what we're going to do is hold a Nationals for Cloud Archery. And it's going to be on Saturday, this date, at this, this venue. And I'd say that's fine. Because people will travel for an event. Because they might incorporate it with a holiday. They might incorporate it with some other event. So for me, would I travel to go to a clout championships? I probably would. Now, would I travel to go to a match play championships? I wouldn't because I'm not interested in match play. And you go, well, the Stephen, that's the world championships. I'm just not interested in match play. I'm not interested in 15 arrows. It's never... Some people like match play and that's cool for you. It's just for me, I'm like, I don't know. I like shooting scores and I like, for 15 arrows, anyone can beat anyone. And that's the purpose of match play. I just like the whole thing that, you know, this is the score I shoot and 
you know, like I like the 72 hour round, but I'm not so much as I'm going to sit around all day and be eliminated in the first round of shooting 15 arrows. And let's say I beat the number one person who's, you know, the best archer in Australia. Let's say I beat him, which is highly possible that I could. Well, do I feel better about it? Because I know they're a better archer than I am. They shoot consistently better, but for those 15 arrows, I beat them. It doesn't mean, to me, it doesn't mean anything. Um, and I'm not taking away anything from match play. Um, like, it's a, it's a good thing. It's great spectator sport. I loved watching it in the Olympics when I went. Um, but for me, it's like, I'm just not really that interested in shooting it. Um, I don't know who won the match play events. It's very hard to see the scores. I'm like, like it, I'm not saying to get rid of match play. I'm just saying that, you know, Archery Australia and the associations need to be thinking about how do we get more people into the sport? How do we have more events? Maybe you have shorter rounds, like 60 hour rounds, 30 hour rounds. Maybe you have shorter events. Maybe you have 3D competitions. Maybe you have knockdown competitions. Maybe you have speed events. Maybe you have specialized longbow events. Maybe you allow carbon arrows in the longbow division. I don't know. More people shooting is better, as far as I'm concerned. So when it comes, like, I think clout should be in the American Championship. It might be a specialized day held in Utah or held wherever. I think it should be something that you do because if 200 people come along and shoot it, 200 people come along and shoot it, and 200 people have a good time, and the next year you might get 300 people to attend. That's my view. It's very much how Vegas grew. Um, it started off small and grew and grew and grew until it got to 4,000 people, which is amazing. And every day in Vegas you shoot 30 arrows and people come for that event to shoot 30 arrows. They come from all around the, all around the world to shoot 30 arrows on one day and 30 arrows on the next day. I think it's amazing. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. With that, my poodle's fallen asleep. Um, so, yeah, that's my view. You can drop your view on what you think. Um, but I just think that's just so dumb. So incredibly dumb. Um, anyway, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.